you're about to hear is true. And what's true about what I'm about to say is that inside I came to New York City, I believe it was a New Year's Eve, as his first gig at Future Shock. And this is a legendary record from a pioneer that opened up the doors to the, the sound of Belgium for the American scene. From Jeff Mills, to DJ Repeat, to Joey Beltram, and beyond. This will forever be a classic and a hit. Inside. What you about to hear is true! It came from, uh, from the lives that I did with it. It started very slow and then it was building up. People went crazy, you know, with this intro with what your body was true. And at the end, you know, I, I just I just put it on record, you know, I came into the studio and I re I recorded actually the version um, that I did live. Quand j'ai reçu la promo de Trial Bells, j'ai tout de suite su qu'il y avait quelque chose de spécial avec ce track. Groovy, lourd, ça swing et tout ce que j'aime. Donc j'ai naturellement poussé dans chacun de mes sets. Et euh, ça a connu le, le succès qu'on connaît. Travels was like a, an enormous success, you know, uh, uh, in northern of France. When I played in Lagoa, I, I, I thought, oh yeah, they, they, it's, it's boots on the run. But I, I, I didn't know. And actually later, you know, then I, I started to play Travels and they, they became completely crazy. I said, what the fuck? And then after Frank Biazzi told me, see, yeah, Chris, you know what? It, it, that's the thing here, you know, it's the tribal, it's not the boots of the run. Boots on the run, what an amazing timeless masterpiece. I still play it in my sets nearly 25 years after its release. It's a dance floor killer, it's a dance floor filler. I love it. After 23 years, it's still kicking. What a mix. It's gonna go in the sets. Insider. You the man. Since my, my father had like a big collection of all Latin music, I was always passionate by, um, by rhythms and everything. One day, you know, I went to shop and I found like a CD and it said like, uh, uh, Pacific rhythms um, and I took it at home and uh, I actually I started to sample like the drums once I had the drums you know I had to figure out like the pattern and you know the rest is history. Travel bells and boots on the run are uh, undoubtedly Chris Wonderhead and aka Insider signature songs. They have this uplifting drive which uh, makes sets his music apart from masses. Chris is not a gear geek, he is a production geek. Regular labels act in similar fashion like uh, museums for art. They give kind of credibility for artists. And the fact that uh, these songs are among all-time top bonsai releases makes them living classics. So what I did, you know, I asked like for 50 white labels. And so I said to myself, I say, you know what, if I can, if I can go to each club, and give the, you know, the white label myself, you know, like I did in the beginning of the 90s, I say, yeah, then you have something because then you received it again from the artist. And so that's exactly what I did. I remember the artist coming back in the office saying, I've got something new, I've got something new. And everybody was like standing on the, on the ceiling almost, dancing around when this track was playing and everybody was completely delirious when this, these beats were going on in the office. And then we knew, like, this is going to be a huge deal. I remember going to the distributor and we were all there with all of these stores. And basically, in most of the cases, we all bought different stuff. It's like, one was buying this, the other one was buying that, because we got all different tastes. But in this case, it was like, we were all fighting for this one record. It was like, there were shitloads of them. But we all were filling up our boxes with this one thing. This one thing was boots on the run by Insider. It had, like, a, a particular sound, you know, that nobody use it nobody everyone's doing like congas or um, you know or other stuff but never those particular like pacific drums you know that come from hawaii and and things like that boots on the run i love it when i'm cooking in my kitchen but boots on the run is definitely made the dance floor. We always went to London to, to, to buy new stuff. Not necessarily in that style, but 
you went to clubs and again in all of these different kind of clubs if it was a tech house club a techno club a house club you heard the tune it was the thing that actually made people shout made people party it's like you had to party like it was 1999 and most probably was insiders boots on the run that made sense the most